Hola, it's Kai Pacha with the weekly Pele report, and uh, this is for uh, Wednesday, April 14th. <laughs> and uh, I'm just sitting on a rock watching these little guys. They're just so perfect, so beautiful. Nature is so phenomenal. And uh, part of that nature today is it's so beautiful is what? Well, Venus is the goddess of love, art, and beauty, and she is going into Taurus, where she rules Aphrodite. Taurus, earthy, beautiful Taurus. Going to be great. And, you know, really by um, Monday, she will be joined by the sun and Mercury. Until then, Wednesday to Monday... Okay, let's just like really uh, understand that we have a Sun, Mercury, Eris conjunction uh, in late Aries, the warrior, fire, in square to Pluto in the late degrees of Capricorn. Cardinal signs, fire to Earth, you know, Mercury is exactly conjunct the sun on Sunday, Kazimi. It's just a very powerful, powerful time. At that same time, uh, Mars is in trine to Jupiter on Friday in conjunct Pluto by Saturday. And so it's really something that, uh, I mean, I wrote this down here. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get it to you, you know. So many planets here are in the very late degrees of all these different signs. So it really between 20 and 26 degrees, uh, even 20 to 30 degrees, all of your planets are getting pretty much activated. On Wednesday, the sun's at 25, Mercury's at 21, Lilith, Mars, and Eris are at 24, Jupiter's at 25, Pluto's at 26, Neptune's at 21. It's just really, uh, <laughs> you know, they're, and they're all aspecting each other, squares, sextiles, in conjuncts, you name it. Look at these guys. Uh, some of you, I don't know, they're, they're, I don't know if I'm giving you enough of this uh, creek for you to really see or know where I am. Some of you who maybe live around here might recognize this. I actually did a report here a few years ago. I'm visiting my brother who lives in this town and this is one of these uh, you know beautiful parks in the middle of a beautiful town. Very artistic. Look at that. That is just like I'm gonna zoom in here. Check him out. Or her. Wow, right? Ah, oh, you just gotta love it. That is just like amazing. Okay, let me look at the camera and talk about this astrology. Okay, hello everybody! I don't know that I have so much to say today. Uh, Life is such a whirlwind. I don't know if you're getting that, but it is busy, 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 busy. And I don't think it's just me. I'm feeling great agitation in the field. In the field, Luke. <laughs> oh, boy. This Aries energy, you know, and Eris, of course. I, do, I have a whole thing on Eris. Okay, you know, Eris is like a 1500 year uh, cycle. So she's like the slowest moving, farthest out there, newly discovered planet that there is. She's at a 45 degree tilt angle. Her orbit is like way off of the ecliptic, okay? Uh, but she is approaching the ecliptic and she's gonna take another 40 years or so where she will actually cross the ecliptic uh, and she's just like really bringing up and in some very powerful transformative energy. 
And I have to relate back to Stephen Forrest because he did a talk, uh, you know, he did a talk on Eris a while ago. And I remember he mentioned, and I think it's very uh, appropriate that we discover these, you know, external planets which reflect unconscious aspects of our human nature that are now coming into consciousness. So around the French Revolution, they discover Uranus, <laughs> okay, liberty, fraternity, right? And then, and then Neptune comes along, okay? And Neptune has to do with magnetism and mysticism, okay? And, you know, Blavatsky and Steiner and all the, you know, everybody is, you know, like awoke and, you know, around the, you know, this time. And then Pluto is discovered. Okay, and you know, we have the nuclear bomb and Pluto rules fission and da da da. But you know, each one of these, you know, is Uranus rules trauma, okay, Neptune rules disillusionment, but you know, Pluto rules death and transformation. I mean, these are very powerful, deep, unconscious forces coming up to consciousness to be dealt with personally and collectively, and now as of 2005, 2007, Eris comes along, and she's even slower moving, farther out there, and deep, dark, feminine energy that is, like, super scary. <laughs> but what Stephen mentioned was that, you know, around this time, around each of the times, something is also birthed within our human nature to, I don't want to say battle or confront, but to deal with this new energy. So around the time of Pluto's discovery, yes, there is, you know, uh, you know, Hiroshima and great destruction, but then there is also Freud. And, and the birth of psychoanalysis. And these two, you know, come around the same time. And, and so now here we have this air, Eris energy, you know, the great destroyer, you know, and this, it's a kind of a destroyer, I would say, of, you know, very powerful patriarchal male dominating forces uh, on a political, on a police level, on a military level, on a financial level, just this is like a, you know, an uprising of those that have been suppressed, those that have been manipulated, exploited, used, uh, you know, uh, prejudice and, you know, stereotyped and blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is just like a coming up, okay? You know, of, of the, the children and the, the, the young girls and the blacks and the you know, everything, you know, even the old people. It's just like all, the, all those who have been on the sidelines, okay, it's like Eris is really coming up and coming in and saying, you know, no more of this. And it's going to take a number of years for individuals and then, you know, it's like the ripple effect from individuals to society to include inclusiveness of diversity. That is what is in the mantra for today. That is what a tapestry, a tapestry is fine woven cloth, right? You know, crisscross and this weaving together. And it's, and it's this energy that we are woven together in all of this. That we are evolving all together on this little planet, you know, hurtling through space at thousands of miles an hour. I mean, far away from the galactic center, far away from the universal center. We are just a tiny little speck in a huge, huge spectrum. So we are like on this rocket ship Earth all together. And 
we are merging together all of this diversity. Now, that being said, right, you know, this is also, look at Aries and Taurus, and this mantra for today is just this kind of a sense of, I gain my strength, I heal my wounded Chiron, Chiron and Aries, my sense of being impotent, of my sense of not getting what I want or desire or need, or, you know, that, you know, it's futile, okay, to resist, you know, this hopelessness, this helplessness, this despair, that everything is out of control and I have no control over my life or my destiny. This is, you know, this is, these are very dark feelings of hopelessness and emptiness that can pervade, okay, you know, so much of what is going on within the human psyche today. And the healing of that, you know, is this Aries energy. It's not rational. It's not logical. It's not explainable. You can't speak about it. It's, it's beyond language. It is impulse. It is this sense of power, this sense of connection, this intuitive sense that everything around me, everything in life, Everything that exists supports my evolutionary process. Even death will lead to a new life. Okay, it's like everything. If I lose a loved one, if I lose a job, a car, my money, you know, this is all to support a future. It's an upgrade. It's to be replaced with something better, something more, something higher, something greater, something beyond. It's this belief that, you know, this tree is supporting me. I'm sitting on a rock. It's supporting me. You know, the, you know the, this water, you know, rushing by is, it, it's like, you know, the weather, the sun, nature, and other people. Everything in our biography is supporting our becoming self-aware, our enlightenment, our, you know, expansion of consciousness. I mean, and, and this is just kind of a, kind of like, you know, you just want to repeat this mantra over a thousand times over. It's just like, okay, you know, I am, I'm going to accept this. I'm going to let every cell in my body own, that, you know, that I am woven in to the fabric of life. And I, and there is, I am not separate and I will not get left behind and I will not be get lost, and uh, you know I am I am needed, you know like without this thread, you know if we're each a thread in the tapestry of life, you know without this thread the tapestry is not complete. So this is this Aries and all this moving into Taurus. Taurus is self value and self worth and self-love that each and every one of us is unique, lovable, uh, you know, in our diverse, unique individual nature, expression, binary, non-binary, this, that, young, old, you know, different colors, different religions, different cultures, different desires, different whatever. So Saturn moving through Aquarius, you know, Aquarius is society. You know, it is global consciousness. It is, in its highest expression, unity in diversity. And, and this is a time now of diversifying. Saturn is form and structure. It's coming around to reform and restructure 
how we do society, how we do groups, how we do associations. And so it's got two and a half years in this sign of Aquarius. And it's just kind of came in there last year. And, you know, we've got, you know, Saturn and Aquarius ahead of us. Thank God Jupiter, <laughs> you know, is also there. I wanted to talk a little bit about these late degrees. These late degrees, if you look at the, you know, the deacons are the 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 degrees. Each sign has three 10 degree divisions, the decans, yeah? And the, la the last three from 20 to 30 is like the maturing, the elder energy. So we've got the, you know, the youth at zero degrees, one, two, three, four, five. It's like brand new to this, you know, to this energy. But now, you know, this is a time of that maturing energy. And that maturing energy wants to be more objective and more in that elder space, not taking it so personally. It's just that I have a job to do or I am here and I will be supported in who I am, in my destiny, that my future, that life is just like assisting me along. And sometimes my ego needs to adjust. That didn't feel like support. <laughs> that was painful or that hurt <laughs> and we have to dig down inside ourselves Aries Taurus energy squaring Pluto digging down to the deepest deepest realms and regions Pluto rules the root chakra Sun Mercury Aries squaring this root chakra energy is a time when we can feel threatened, we can get pissed off, we can get angry, we can feel, you know, like overwhelming egos or money people or banks or governments are just like, you know, uh, and we just want to bust out. Aries wants to break free. And I just want to really, you know, condone. I want to fortify. I want to energize you. I want to just like say that this, you know, time, all the planets, okay, are really supporting each one of us, you know, breaking free and coming into our own. It's like define yourself. All this social distancing, uh, we have to look at it as this is supporting a process. All this isolation, all this lockdown. How is the universe, how is this virus supporting my evolution? I cannot try to be a people pleaser or try to, you know, uh, fit into the peer group or da da da. I'm getting isolated. So I have to dig down within myself, find my resources, find my truth, find what I really value, and go for it. Boom. <laughs> oh, man. So the song for this week is, I think it's Tom Petty, I Will Not Back Down. Yeah? I will stand my ground. I will not back down. This is Aries, Taurus. I am who I am, and that is that. Bam. You know? And, and just like centering, grounding ourselves in ourselves. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, just a little thing here. I want to thank Tatiana. She put together all the songs that I've been putting together into a playlist, and we've uh, uploaded it to uh, Spotify. Uh, you know, uh, the Pele Report, Astrology for the Soul, 
is on Spotify, and there's a playlist now with all these uh, with all these songs from, uh, you know, uh, from the Pele Report. So if you uh, if you like some of the music that, uh, you know, uh, I put always the links for the music in the notes below uh, the Pele Report. Uh, the, all those songs will be all together in one playlist for you. So. I just want to say that, you know, this time period, you know, Sun, Mercury moving into Taurus, Venus moving into Taurus, it's coming out of this Aries impulse, spontaneous energy, and it's time to ground it, make it real, you know, put your money where your mouth is, walk your talk, you know, it's easy to just you know, talk and shout and scream and da 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 But, you know, really, how are you spending your money? You know, is are you supporting your values with every dime and nickel? Or are you, you know, putting, you know, your resources, you know, behind things you don't believe in? So, you know, we're, you know, this is making it real. We're stepping into the month of reality. Taurus is physical, tangible reality. And it's going to be up for big changes next week. I'll be talking more, okay, about Venus coming up to Uranus, Sun Mercury coming up to Uranus. I will say that Mercury, Mercury is racing along like a lightning bolt fast as he possibly can. Do you <laughs> so, you know, it's big changes, big changes. My strength comes from knowing. My strength comes from knowing I'm connected to all of life. A tapestry of diversity into which I am woven tight. You know, we don't want to be separating ourselves from the virome or the birome or the biosphere or the matrix or, you know, this, you know, all this kind of covering up, separating and isolating. It's time to just like really get out in nature and, and let that fresh air, okay, you know, bring in fresh thoughts, fresh ideas, Drink some fresh water and connect with these natural forces of life that are so supporting our immune system, building up. Get that vitamin D straight from the sun. Get out in the sun. Get out in nature. All of nature is supporting us. We are woven tightly into it. Yeah? And it makes us strong and it makes us rebound it rejuvenates us and we will not back down we will not be torn down we will not be taken down we will stand our ground <laughs> my strength comes from knowing not believing knowing <laughs> yeah Go into a deep state of meditation and be into that place of knowing. This isn't just theoretical. It's knowing. My strength comes from knowing. I am connected to all of life. A tapestry of diversity into which I am woven tight. Oh, yeah, baby. May you feel held, strengthened, powerful to stand your ground this week and beyond. Namaste. Aloha. So much love.